This is undeniably one of the most popular family travel trailers that has ever been built. Let's go find out why. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles. We review RVs and I'm excited that you're here. And we're gonna do things a little bit different today. As you can see, no B-roll is what people in the film industry would call it at the beginning of the video. We're just gonna get right into it because I get so many comments of people saying that my videos are too long or it should have been shorter, I talk too much, all these different things. So we're gonna do things a little bit different and I'm going to go through this video much faster than I normally would. And we're gonna just see how that goes. I've always tried to provide as much information as humanly possible for y'all. I approach every video like this is somebody looking at an RV for the very first time and knows nothing, which I think has gotten me a long way, but seems to bother a good amount of people out there. So we're gonna do everything we can to try to please everybody in this video. Although I must say, I really have no desire to try to please everybody. We're just gonna do it this one time just for fun. See how it goes. So we're gonna go through this video of this Grand Design Imagine 2800 BH real quick. This is a brand new 2024 model. It actually was built in August of 2023. So this just was built. It's a brand new 2024. It's a great half ton option. Um, the specs will be on the screen here so you can see that. But gonna be a great half ton option if you have a modern half ton truck only coming in at about 8,500 pounds fully loaded. In fact, we'll get over and look at the exact specs real quick just to make sure we're as accurate as possible on this. So yeah, unloaded vehicle, or sorry, gross vehicle weight, weight rating is 8,495 pounds, so fully loaded at that amount. 1,493 pound cargo carrying capacity, and you're going to have an unloaded vehicle weight rating of 6,962 pounds. So that's gonna give you a hitch weight as well around that 800, 900 pound range when it's fully loaded. It's gonna be capable by a lot of different half ton trucks, um, but you really wanna know what you're working with with your specific truck, so make sure to check those numbers on your truck there. You're gonna have propane bottles up front, power tongue jack, and spot for batteries. There is solar on the roof as well. Have a molded fiberglass front cap, gives it a much more clean finish and look to it. Definitely a more premium finish as well. And then you have the LED light beams that come down there at a nice angle. Going down this side, one of the most impressive things with Imagine that a lot of travel trailers in this class don't do is this dropped frame down underneath here. That's going to give you a much bigger storage space through here than you'll find on a lot of competing travel trailers in this price range. Also has a new rubber floor for 2024 and this LED light beam that goes across the top. Has aluminum framing, welds on both sides of all your aluminum frame connections, and then you have manual stabilizers underneath here. Not a problem though, get a drill with a bit that connects on here. You can shoot those legs down in literally two to three seconds. It's very quick, very easy, and not as hard as people need it to be if you have a drill. You're gonna have storage under there for your sewer hose as well, so you'll be able to store that there. Two entry doors, one has a solid step and one has a traditional trailer step there. Awning over the majority of the RV, it covers about two thirds of the length of the RV there. You're gonna have a, let's see, a water connection right here real quick, I kinda grazed past this. That's gonna be a fresh water fill there, it looks like. TV and outlet connections there. Goodyear Endurance, American made tire, standard leaf spring suspension. You have an outdoor kitchen that is underneath the awning here, and I love that this is a huge griddle cooktop, bigger than most griddle cooktops that you get on travel trailer RVs. And gosh, it's so hot out here, I just barely touched that. You could probably cook an egg on that thing right now just off the sun, so very hot. You have a ladder to get up onto the roof, prep for a backup camera, tankless on-demand, Furion tankless water heater there. Have an accessory hitch here, probably gonna be rated for 250 or, yep, 300 pounds there. So 300 pound rating on that accessory hitch. 50 amp power connection there off the back. And then as we go to this side, you can see only one slide out here, so very manageable. You're going to have your black tank flush valve there, so that's so you can hook up pressurized water to your black tank. This is where your tanks are going to dump, so it looks like all of your tanks dump in this one spot, all of your black and gray tanks, so one easy location to be able to do that. Rack and pinion style slide out on your slide mechanism. And then as we go this way, you have your storage through this side as well. You can see your water connections right here. It has a Nautilus water management system, very clean and concise there. Battery disconnect switch, outdoor shower connection for hot and cold water. And then you have your light switches here for the LED lights here and on the front cap. It is prepped for a tire pressure monitoring system if you want that. And that is everything on the outside. 
in under five minutes. So I think we're at a pretty good pace here. I do gotta say, I might prefer this in this Texas heat because sometimes I might be spending too much time out here sweating my butt off for information y'all are too smart and already know. So we'll see how it goes when this video is uploaded, what y'all think. As we walk inside, of course you have a screen door here, so you will have a screen there. And when we come in here, this is the most popular family trailer floor plan. And Imagine does something where this space in here just feels absolutely huge. I don't know how they do it because this trailer is not any longer or wider than competing trailers that are, you know, that build this floor plan. And somehow it just feels massive. And then I completely overlooked the fact that they have these new light beams in here that are really, really unique, something we've never seen before. And I'm really curious what you think, because I think some people are divided on these. I personally absolutely love them. I think they are one of the coolest things I've seen in a 2024 model as far as a change from 23 to 24. So having these new light beams is really impressive. You do have a dimmer light switch right here. So you can see you can dim your lights here. It's gonna be able to give you control of the ambiance in your travel trailer. And then back here in the bunk area, you do actually have independent control of these. Now, they didn't give you a dimmer switch on these for some reason, but you can control those there. And I'm curious, okay, they are not connected to the dimmer switch on the front lights. So would have liked to see a dimmer switch with those two. Don't know why they didn't do that, but is what it is. Two double sized bunks here. Each one has its own privacy curtains. You have a ladder here as well to get up onto those bunks so you don't have to climb your way up there like you'll see in some other models. Barreled ceiling here so it gives you great ceiling height. Even someone like myself who's 6'2 could comfortably get into this space and sleep up here because of that barreled ceiling. It's not going to feel too claustrophobic up in this area. And then down underneath here you can see you have outlets here. You have a light here as well and then outlet and us or sorry not outlets but usb ports here and a usb type c port so i think that's going to be more and more important especially since i've seen the iphone 15 is going to a usb type c connection as opposed to their lightning cable that they've always used have storage space here controls for your rv everything is going to be controlled right here a lot of people ask about climate control in rvs um the only thing this doesn't have as far as like being able to withstand all weather is 12 volt heat pads on the water tanks, but fully enclosed underbelly, your furnace is gonna keep your water tanks and water lines from freezing and you have two ACs. So you can also be in hot temperatures as well. So really gonna be capable for pretty much all seasons. Those 12 volt heat pads really are just for when you're towing the RV with water in the tanks. Nice big rectangular shower in this bathroom space, I have to say is just wildly impressive. Ceiling height in here is really good too. It's about six foot two to this spot here as the ceiling slants down, but into the skylight plus the barreled effect that you get here could easily be like six, 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 seven, and probably fit in here before you're gonna hit your head on this spot. And then a nice big space. I mean, the base on here is really large. So it's gonna give you a nice comfortable space. Look at all this storage space that you get through here. All of these shelves that go very far back. I mean, that is huge storage. You have a really prime toilet position there that is going to give you very comfortable seating position with the angle of that. Good amount of storage space through here. And you have a stainless steel sink with a black faucet in the corner with storage underneath there. Outlet in the bathroom, of course, and medicine cabinet storage in the corner. Also like that they put the tankless water heater controls here in the bathroom, so very easy to get to. And you do have a towel rod on the door. Another thing to point out as well, you actually have a real style door where there's not like huge gaps at the top and the bottom there. So like that as well, definitely have more privacy. Another thing I wanna point out is they did go to a cooler light tone in a lot of their lights here. So you can see like the tone of these lights versus the tone of the lights in the bedroom, how much cooler they are out in this area. Again, this is something I love, but I know some people commented in some other videos that they like the warmer light tone. So you can let me know what you think on that. Um, it is interesting because it does have a warmer light down here in the bunk, which is a little bit different than the rest of the lights here in the travel trailer. But nonetheless, two theater seats directly across from your TV. You also can get a pull-out sofa there if you want that too. You do have carpet in the slide out, so that's interesting. Not sure why they're still doing carpet. I know most people don't want that, but they're still doing it, so I'm not sure why. Especially because I've seen in the 2024 Grand Design Reflection, they've gone away from the carpet, so... 
I would have thought maybe they would do that here too, but I guess not. You have a TCL Roku TV. Now you can tell it's not like the largest TV ever. It looks to be about a 32 to 35 inch screen TV and not really prepped to add a TV of any bigger size there, but it is a very thin bezel TV. It looks nice and it is a smart TV. Storage space down underneath here. And you know what's interesting about this actually, I gotta point this out. This does swivel out, but what's interesting to me about this is you have all this big storage space here and I don't see any way for any cables to get up to the TV. So if you want to put a gaming console down underneath here, a Blu-ray player, anything like that, there's, you'd have to drill your own hole to get any wires up into that TV. So I guess, I don't know if they're just depending on people to have like a Wi-Fi setup and just use Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that, but I don't know why they wouldn't have put a hole up through there. That's just something that I noticed that's a little strange. Huge storage here. This is definitely gonna be most people's pantry space that you will see through here. So you'll have those two drawers, pantry space here. Gosh, it is just so hard for me to go fast. I feel like I'm taking forever for the people that say I take too long. As we go back to the kitchen space, big Furion 12 volt refrigerator. This is gonna run off the battery system. Solar is also definitely gonna help keep this from you know, drawing too much power on you as well and your battery's dying. So, but a nice big refrigerator. You have storage down underneath the refrigerator as well. That's a big amount of storage. And then check this out. This is wildly impressive. Huge storage space down underneath here. You can get all of your pots and pans in here that you will need for a camping trip or even an extended trip that might be multiple weeks long. Massive space. I love how they just made that one big space there instead of splitting it so you could fit larger items. Big drawers here as well. And then you have a stainless steel, one piece sink there, flip up countertop extension. This is not a solid surface countertop, by the way. This is like a wrapped wood countertop there. But you do have a backsplash that perfectly matches the counter. So I love that. Outlets on both sides of the sink and a wireless charging pad. Window here so you can see out into your campsite. Furion three burner stove and your standard size RV oven. So nothing too impressive there, but we'll get the job done. Vent fan here to vent out all your smells while you're cooking. Standard RV size microwave. Storage up above there and a tritone color on your cabinets that looks really clean and no glass on the cabinets there so don't have to worry about fingerprints and stuff like that. Coming this way, the dinette table is pretty unique. Um, other brands have done this too, but it's something that's pretty interesting where this is a freestanding table, so this actually can just come out here. You can put this table wherever you want and this bench will come out. So you can take that bench, put it anywhere in the travel trailer that you want and turn this into a traditional dinette or you get the u-shaped dinette if you leave that back there plus that will give you a larger sleeping space when you need to convert this into a bed the u-shaped dinettes are always a longer bed than a standard dinette when you make it into a bed so that's something that's pretty impressive there as well you have storage down underneath here that is easy to get to and right next to your recliners again usb ports and usb type c ports as well and then as we go back into the bedroom, look at how wide the door is going into this space. I don't know the exact measurement of the width there, but man, it is large and bigger than most entry doors into a bedroom. So it just makes it feel bigger. And as we walk back into here, you're gonna have a residential queen size bed. So a nice size bed, nice looking bedroom, have the same lights in here as well. Again, two ACs, so gonna stay nice and cool in the summertime. Second entry door here, so you can go directly in and out of this bedroom. Good amount of storage as well. You can hang your clothes in here. Plus they give you two pullout drawers next to the bed here. And that's gonna be the same on both sides. And then I love that you get these cubbies for each individual outlets and USB ports plus USB type C connections in those areas there. You have reading lights with two different light colors. So you have the blue soft light there and the warm white light and a nice looking kind of headboard setup with what you got going on in this area. Lift up the bed, you have storage down underneath here. You have a floating shelf here, so you get kind of that additional separation of storage in that area or in that regard as well. And then as we turn back around the other way, sliding door for your privacy. Spot for a TV on the wall here. So you'd want to put a swivel mount there if you're doing a TV in the bedroom. And that's pretty much it. So that's about as fast as I could walk through this travel trailer. I hope I didn't miss too much for y'all, but if you do have questions or if I did miss something, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what you like and what you don't like and what you think. 
And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly on bound. I almost forgot too, right when you walk in, you do have storage here for shoes. And if it's a little chilly outside, if your furnace is on, it's gonna keep your shoes nice and warm. So when you slip them on, keep your toes warm.